Chapter 21. Why, it's absolutely brilliant, cried the old green grasshopper when James had explained his plan. The boy's genius, the centipede announced. Now I can keep my boots on after all. Oh, I shall be pecked to death, wailed the poor earthworm. Of course you won't. I will, I know I will, and I won't even be able to see them coming at me because I have no eyes. James went over and put an arm gently around the earthworm's shoulders. I won't let them touch you, he said. I promise I won't, but we've got to hurry. Look down there. There were more sharks than ever now around the beach. The water was boiling with them. There must have been 90 or 100 at least. And the, to the travelers up on top, it certainly seemed as though the peach was sinking lower and lower into the water. Action stations, James cried. Jump to it. There's not a moment to lose. He was the captain now, and everybody knew it. They would do whatever he told them. All hands below deck except Earthworm, he ordered. Yes, yes, they said eagerly as they scuttled into the tunnel entrance. Come on, let's hurry. And you, centipede, James shouted, hop downstairs and get the silkworm to work at once. Tell him to spin as he's never spun before. Our lives depend on it. And the same applies to you, Miss Spider. Hurry on down and start spinning.